Hello there, I'm meteorologist Matt Bacon. It's beautiful today, although I wish we weren't so warm and so dry. I wish we had a good rain or snow to come through, but without it, temperatures have been comfortable. 60s and 70s recorded across the plains today. Lamar was the state's warm spot at 79. 50s and 60s in the high country. Denver itself made it back to 70 degrees today. We'll be much warmer throughout to Friday and the weekend ahead. With that 70 degree day today, the March headlines continue. Currently, the second warmest March ever recorded for Denver. 22 days have been above average, with 13 of those in the 70s and one day at 80. It's also the driest March ever recorded. That's the bad headline right there. We had a weak system drifting overhead, some clouds to the southeast, some clouds over the mountains. And with this weak system, maybe be some sprinkles or snowflakes for the northwestern corner of the state tonight with temperatures in the upper 20s. The rest of us absolutely dry. A little bit of a breeze in Denver, mid to lower 40s here with upper 30s for the rest of the plains. Tomorrow's highs in the 70s, flirting with 80 in many areas. 77 in Burlington, 79 in Sterling, 77 for Denver, Fort Collins, and Greeley in the upper 70s, 50s and 60s in the mountains. Even check out the Central Mountains, way above average. 74 degrees in Glenwood Springs, 62 in Vail. 72 degrees in Salida for the front range. We're going to be flirting with 80 in many areas. Fort Collins, Greeley, Fort Morgan, Brighton, Longmont at 78 degrees. Boulder at 76, Estes Park 64, and Bailey 63 degrees with a bit of a breeze tomorrow. Over the weekend, the all time warmest temperature ever recorded in March for Denver was 84 degrees. Back in the 70s, and we'll be there on Saturday, so we'll be ending the month of March on a historic note. Then for Sunday, Monday and Tuesday, a system comes through the state. It's going to make us windy for sure. Not a guarantee is a rain chance. In fact, it looks very bleak for the Denver area on Monday, but it will cool us down. Sharply cooler on Monday at 57, then right back into the 60s and 70s for the middle to latter half of next week.